what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this video, we're going to be working with the staff, spinning it in front of the body as if it were a single propeller. Now, this is very important with um, the hand positions, so we're going to spend a lot of detail on that. That way, you can spin it in front of the body, you can spin it up above the head. This will go later on into your overs and unders. It will go into three-sectional staff and other weapons as well. So, let's get to work. Okay, for this spin, we're going to keep at the center of the staff. This one, you want to stay a little bit closer to the balance center, but you don't want to have to do any overcompensations for too much weight and uh, too much length as well. Now, the grips themselves are going to be mainly with your right hand, and then you're going to have your left hand as a supporting grip. So start with your right hand on the staff. We're going to turn it all the way over. And in fact, I want you to turn it all the way so it goes upside down. Now you notice to make this happen, we have to open up our right hand. So let's again start with the staff. We have the tip pointing towards our left. Our right hand is straight out like a punch. And we're going to turn it over so we go palm up and then all the way over, open up those fingers and let the staff go straight up and down. From here, take your left hand and we're gonna go up underneath. Now this transfer is just as if we were going, making that bird hand or we're gonna go palm to the back of the hand. So this hand comes up underneath. Okay, so as we bring it over, it points straight down. You're gonna place it in between the thumbs and then we're going to let the weight of the staff carry over until we can grab the staff in our left hand. Now from here, we're going to simply turn it over until our palm is down. With our right hand now, we're going to grab so that our thumb, we're thumb to thumb in the center of the staff. Once we have the grip, we let go. We have the transfer and then we're going to go all the way around until the palm is up. And then again, left hand is going to come up underneath always underneath the right hand. Let the staff grab into the left hand and then we're gonna make a half rotation into the right hand. And then it's going to make almost a full rotation as we let go, transfer, and then again grab, thumb to thumb, bring the staff all the way over. Then we go palm to the back of the hand, grab, thumb to thumb, and then we keep this going. As you get used to it, you can start speeding it up. The best way to speed this up is when you use your main hand, your right hand, to torque right here. So we're going to scoop a little bit more, guiding with the back of the hand and the pinky. The back of the hand right here is going to be responsible for really adding the speed on this. After you get this done, you can start working on little tosses to transfer from one hand to the other or we can start moving it so it goes up above the head with the same pattern, the same rotation. All right, so there you can see it's very important with the hand positions how you match up from grip to grip. If you can get that down, it will make your timing a lot more smooth and you can move faster and smoother without risk of dropping the staff or losing quality in your form. Work hard and I'll see you next time. Bam! Fist with a foe out!